Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how NASA has selected the most lunar-like location on Earth to train the crew for Artemis II. NASA found the most lunar-like place on Earth to prepare the crew for the first journey to the Moon, after more than half a century, as part of the Artemis II. The country chosen for this task was Iceland, which has rugged terrain similar to the lunar surface. NASA astronauts Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover and Christina Koch, along with Canadian Space Agency astronaut Jeremy Hansen and backup crew members, NASA astronaut Andre Douglas and CSA astronaut Jenny Gibbons hiked across the country. Apollo astronauts said Iceland was one of the most lunar-like training locations that they went to in their training, said Cindy Evans, Artemis Geology Training Lead at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, in a statement. It has lunar-like planetary processes, in this case volcanism, it has the landscape, it looks like the moon, and it has the scale of features astronauts will both be observing and exploring on the moon, he added. According to NASA, the landscape of Iceland is filled with lava fields, volcanic craters, and barren rocky terrain, which has a resemblance with the lunar surface. Special rocks like breccias and basalts, which are found on the lunar surface, are also present in Iceland because of the intense volcanic activity of the country. Iceland's geology helps astronauts practice working in terrains similar to those on the moon and get trained in techniques used for identifying, collecting and documenting rocks and soil samples with the help of specially designed tools. The astronaut crew also worked on their navigation skills and spent time living and working together like they would in space. The tools we used during the Apollo missions haven't changed that much for what we're planning for the Artemis missions, said Trevor Graf, exploration geologist, and the hardware and testing lead on the Artemis science team at NASA Johnson in the statement. Traditionally, a geologist goes out with just standard tool sets of things like rock hammers and scoops or shovels to sample the world around them, both on the surface and subsurface, he added. Humans will go back to the lunar surface for the first time after 1972 as part of Artemis III. As part of the mission, the astronauts will land near the lunar south pole and will spend nearly a week conducting scientific research on the lunar surface. According to NASA, the mission will launch no earlier than September 2026. There's really transformational science that we can learn by getting boots back on the moon, getting samples back and being able to do field geology. With trained astronauts on the surface, said Angela Garcia, who is an exploration geologist and an Artemis II science officer at NASA Johnson. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.